Hello and welcome to Set It Up at Mapping Key Gaming. My name is Emmanuel and today we are going to be setting up 5 Minute Marvel. Five Minute Marvel is a two to five player game that it's a, uh, it, it plays a lot like speed. You're, just, you're matching the symbols to uh, play um, and play them as fast as you can. Uh, so here on the uh, instruction manual here at the very bottom, it gives you a little chart uh, to help you uh, set up the, uh, it, it, it's, it's kind of, I don't know why they did it like this because they show you just the hand size, but they don't show you the number of cards, of resource cards that you're going to be, ma you're going to be making your hand with. So uh, those are these cards right here. So I did a little bit of math. There is 120 cards here. So in a two player game, you need uh, 60 cards each. A three player game, you need 40 cards. A four player card, I mean a four player game is 30 cards and a five-player game is 24 cards. Now, the instructions just say to divide them up evenly, so I don't know why they just didn't do the math. Would have been uh, a whole lot easier. And here, these are the boss mats. These are going to be the main villains that um, you're going to be fighting at the end of each round. If you look here on the bottom, it tells you how many uh, door cards to uh, stack on top of it. A Green Goblin uh, requires 15, Red Skull there 20, Thanos requires 30. That's a lot of cards to get through in the five minutes. Now these are the door cards. These are going to be the villains that you're going to be fighting uh, to get to the, to the main guy. <clears throat> so Green, Go Green Goblin requires 15, so just count out 15 of these. Fifteen of those. So the, the next thing that you're going to need are the crisis cards. Now, these are uh, chosen uh, by the number of players. Now, if you are playing with little kids, um, they can play this game really easily because you're, they're just matching the colors. Um, so you may, you know, if they're really little, um, you can omit these, and it's almost like a uh, guaranteed win for them. Um, they just have to do it within the time. Uh, but if um, you're you're playing like a regular game for a novice, they tell you um, one card, uh, one crisis card per player. Um, if you're a veteran, uh, then two. So in this case, we're setting it up for two players, so we're going to put four of those. And then a, the same thing goes for additional door cards. So you would add uh, one for a novice game, or two per player for a veteran game. Okay, so with the crisis cards and the door cards here, we just shuffle those in together with the required cards for the villain. All right. So just like that, the villain is set up. Um, so the only thing left to do is pick your character. So in this case here, we'll just grab a Medusa, where you take um, you take your character tile card. There's two sides to it. There's the injured side that is uh, blacked out with the red X, and then there's the colored side with the player uh, ability. And you just kind of put that right next to um, your resource deck. And then these are her cards specific to her. And you just kind of put that deck right there next to it. Actually, here, let's grab a... There we go. And then um, here we have Iron Man, and we'll do the exact same thing for him. So each player is going to be drawing, in a two-player game, six cards each. In a three-player game, four cards. And in a four- or five-player game, they're going to be drawing six cards. And those are going to be coming from the uh, resource deck. And then during gameplay, you'll be drawing from either decks. Hey everyone, I totally forgot the most important thing, the timer. So here it is. Um, it's a downloadable app that you go to. Um, I just went to the, the Google Play Store and um, downloaded it. It's for, it's for free. I know um, it's also available on iOS. And 
it it's pretty much you just click on it and then it opens up to this uh right here and there are a couple different things um you can click that um up here where it says game storage and then it opens up a little uh picture uh showing you how to put everything away and then um yeah you just close it like that there's uh, some gears here so you can adjust the uh music the narrator um Oh yeah, and then the uh, orientation, so you can either have it go um, in a portrait where it's just like up and down, or you could do a landscape where it goes like that sideways. Um, I'll set it back to um, the way how I had it. No, there it goes. Oh, auto. And then, um, let's see hit settings again okay and then you just um, tap um, uh, just tap in the center to start it and then it comes up here with Jarvis you hit the play button and then um, Jarvis uh, speaks and then he gives you the the little countdown and then there's your timer and then once you're done with um, uh, uh, defeating the boss the final boss you just hit the pause button and then it lets you know um, you can click uh, we won or we lost and then he um it'll adjust so that you know i clicked we won so it, it took us back to start another round and then um let's see here go and then if you hit uh we lost and he talks um i d I, I don't have the audio on right now but he um he just tells you um uh, uh i don't know he just talks like Jarvis. So anyway, uh, that is the app. And now let's get back. So that's um, pretty much it. That's how you set up 5-Minute Marvel.